I just got access to this in-store Lovestruck expansion pack. Thank you to EA for sending me the code. And just like when I get any expansion pack, I cannot wait to build with it. So today we're gonna check out the Sims 4 Lovestruck build and buy, see what's going on there. Also, there is still time to pre-order this pack. However, it is being released tomorrow, July 25th. But regardless, if you do end up getting the Sims 4 Lovestruck, you can support my channel by using my creator code, SIDMAC at checkout, and I'll earn 5% of your purchase. With that being said, today, all of my opinions, as always, are my own, and let's check it out. In this pack, you can plan hotter dates using Cupid's Corner on your phone or computer. It's like a dating app, I guess. We now have an attraction system for turn-ons and turn-offs. There's also a romance skill, crazy. And we have a new world we're going to explore where Sims can meet, flirt, and more. So here is the new world that comes with the Sims 4 Lovestruck. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. This is the world of Ciudad Enamorada. Might be mispronouncing, I apologize. Before I build anything, I always like to see what the lot looks like, the lighting and the surrounding atmosphere. So let's check out this one, the furthest one over to the left. Oh, this world is gorgeous. I love all the colors of the buildings. The lot itself is right here and look in the back all of those super colorful buildings happening. I guess for now we'll just check out the residential lot. So there's also this one. Okay, here's the lot right here. We have a cute rooftop patio moment. Similar vibe, but this is the same neighborhood, so the surrounding atmosphere is very similar to the last one. Let's check out this lot over here. This is in a different neighborhood. Okay, in the background for this one, we've got more of like the high-rise buildings, definitely more of a cityscape. We are near a very lush looking park though. And then yeah, in the distance, you can see the buildings from the other neighborhood. In this area over here, we have some apartment lots, which is fun. It looks like this one might be a penthouse. And this here is the lot obviously overlooking the city. I really want to go in and look at the actual builds and do gameplay and stuff. I think I might do that later on stream. So yeah, this one just overlooking the city. We've got all the buildings in the background. Very cool. All right. Well, since I don't really want to evict anyone right now, I'm going to build on the 30 by 20 lot over here. We are unfortunately going to bulldoze this beautiful lot. I'm going to get my love struck filter on and I think we're first going to check out the build mode stuff. So like the windows, the doors. Ooh, okay. So first thing I'm seeing is this door here. This is super cute. I love the arched look. We've got a wooden one. We'll definitely be using that for interiors. Let me just lay them all out here. Let's do this properly. Ooh, we got more interior archways. We have been needing these. All right. So it looks like we only have short doors, which is totally fine. I love this one in particular. This is my favorite. It's got that wooden swatch, which you guys know I love. And I really like how we have some more colorful swatches in here too, like this green one. This one as well comes in some fun swatches. We've got some neutral, some different colors going on. And the same as these archways here too. We even have some pastel swatches going on. Whoa, also this big one over here to the right. Look at some of these swatches. Oh, that's so pretty for like a fancier door. This is like an elevated get famous door. <laughs> Very funky with some of these swatches. Okay, what about windows? Again, we only have windows for the shorter height and these ones look very standard. We're going to have different variations of the same window, which I actually don't mind. The swatches are pretty consistent matching the other doors. And then we've got a different variation like this, more of a glass and metal base. These could be really pretty on more modern looking houses. These are not necessary. Oh, actually, I was about to say we have more than enough of this shaped glass window, but these ones seem to be tinted. Hmm, I wonder why. And then we have like this random chunky one. We also have some window decor. My favorite is this window box. We have one new fence. Ooh, I really like these stairs. These are really pretty. Oh my gosh, look at this column. Is this neon? I feel like you could use this column in many different ways. And then we have a more basic column. Not that excited about this one and it only comes in four swatches, but Ooh, we also got some new pool trim. I've noticed they've been adding a lot more of that lately. We got a new fountain. This kind of looks like a chess piece or something. Something about it looks a little weird to me, but you know I love a good fountain. And then let me see landscaping. 
thing. We got this purple tree here, which I've kind of been seeing all around the world. I wish it came in different swatches, but I like it. There's like little palm leaves going on in there. I don't have debug turned on, so I'm sure there's more landscaping hidden in there, but so now that we have a general vibe going on for the exterior items, let's go ahead and start building our shell. So I'm going to make this two stories, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a house. When we go inside, I want to focus mostly on like the new items. So I'm going to try not to get too carried away here. I know I'm going to want my stairs leading up this way. So we could actually maybe have an entry right here. I might wrap this around a little bit and I'm thinking that's going to be our shell. For our roofing, I'm going to go in with a hipped roof first and I think I'll pull that this way. We could bring it across. I'm going to lower it down quite a bit and we'll bring out the adjusters. Oh, I hadn't even checked, but we did get new roof paint, which looks like just a metal. Kind of interesting that they would have gone with a metal roofing for this pack, but I'm sure I'll get some kind of use out of it. Oh, but we did get a roof trim with the details on it. I'm so happy they've been bringing these in. I wish we had like a brown swatch. I think just because everyone else seems to have this roofing, I'm going to add in a base game one just to kind of match the rest of the neighborhood. I've added two gabled roof pieces on there as well. I'm going to add on the fencing here. Again, I wish this came in a brown swatch as well. And we actually got a ton of new wallpapers. Oh, stop everything. You're kidding with this. I'm, this is my new favorite wallpaper in the entire game. I love this kind of style. Oh my gosh. And the swatches are so pretty. Oh yeah. We're, look at this one and the rose one. All right. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Let's choose an exterior wallpaper. We have this one, the vibrant Casa exterior wall. I'm going to try this swatch here today. No new trim options, which is totally fine. I'm just going to use a base game one today. I'm adding some base game fencing above the door for some added detail. And do we want to use this door or do we want to use the wood one? Maybe we try the arched one for today because then I can bring in some of these arches at the top. Let me see if we go in and start adding these new windows. I've got some of the new columns there holding up my balconies. We got some fun new flooring as well. So I'm going to add that at the front. We could do like a little front patio. I'm going to bring that onto my balconies there as well. And I think I might bring it into the back too. For the fence in the back, I'm just going to use this one from base game. I guess we could also section this part off too. And actually for a little variety, I've just placed these base game columns right at the front where my stairs are. We are definitely using these cute window boxes, but I'm going to size mine up. Should we use a big fancy one for the back door? It was this one or I was going to match the other and try this. Okay, so far she's cute. Let's start looking at the buy items though, so we can start adding some detail. I think I'm going to start with the exterior items. So it looks like we got a swing set. Definitely more of a modern looking one. I'm assuming not much kid stuff came with this pack, right? Or am I wrong? Okay, we have another food stand. This one is a grill. This is another market stand. I feel like we kind of have a lot of these at this point. Seems like every pack lately comes with some sort of food stand. But then we also have a really cute blanket. Can you have a picnic on here? It also comes in fun different swatches. Oh, we're totally using this somewhere. Let's actually maybe put this in the back. We could add a tree here and have a cute under the tree picnic area. It says it's a perfect spot spot to be romantic together, whether that's picnic or snuggling together. This classically styled romantic blanket lets you be closer together, real close. Okay. Oh, and there's a fireplace version too. All right. So picnic blanket out there. We could add one of our fountains out here. Actually, I'm going to add one to the front too. This is a fancy looking divider. I feel like you could also use this as a fence if you wanted to. And then we have this, which is just something that'll provide shade. A couple different cube patterns on there too. We have a centerpiece hippo. That's kind of weird. Not gonna lie. I don't think I like that. And then there's like a toiletry set. We got a new trash bin, which I feel like I've seen this one before. And we got another picnic table. Although I really like how this one's so colorful. Like the swatches on here are cool. Look at these starlights. We've got some fun colorful swatches, some more neutral ones. I've already just had the idea to use this as a headboard. We are definitely adding this somewhere. Wait, we got a number sign. That's adorable. I I wonder if that 328 had any significance. Oh, there's other numbers too. All right. So I really like the default one. And then there are some other more modern looking ones too. I feel like this is going to be a staple. Like every house is going to have to have a number from now on. We also got a cute new hanging plant, which you can size up and it looks good too. I might put that like underneath my number. There's this wall plant here, which comes in some really 
really funky swatches like those pink ones and for plants this is what i was looking for i had a feeling we would have a few big ones so you could really make an adorable outdoor space with these big plants i'm personally going to be using as many out here as possible there's also this rug here you could use for indoor or outdoor spaces i'm just doing a quick skim through to make sure i've got everything i want to add on the outside oh there's some cute exterior lights here too i really like those for our friend patio we got this adorable is this a stone bench i think it might be a stone bench there's also a pretty iron bench here with a butterfly on it we have some fold-up chairs here which would be perfect for just a small balcony and here's the matching table that goes perfectly with them and then there's this table here which i feel like is a very cute outdoor table and there's actually this one as well which is like another table in a different height we of course got new candles i'm gonna be adding tons of these and the final thing i wanted to do before we go inside is open up the debug objects here i love searching through to see what kind of landscaping we got oh interesting this is actually an item from get together that is hiding in love struck debug it looks like there's some texture issues there but just saying we've got the same cactus landscaping that comes with strangerville like some of these aloe plants for example i'm really just looking for some cute little trees or something oh there's a taller version of the purple tree yeah this this is what I wanted. For some reason, I feel like it's probably just me. I love going through and looking for debug trees. <laughs> All right, let me show you what I did for our little backyard here because I'm going to delete it. I totally forgot in a base game update, we can now make round pools, which we've never been able to do in The Sims 4. So I filled up this whole backyard space. It's looking so cute. We have different areas happening, like this seating area with those stone benches, a dining table, all of that from Love Struck. We also got a brand new big bar here with the bar stools that I added and I added some gardening pots in the back here since there's so many plants happening. Maybe I'll get rid of the bar to make room for a pool. So you can see we have these new categories here, the rounded pool options. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so happy about this. Ooh, even if we just did like a semicircle, that could be interesting and like pull it out a little bit. And this is a thick pool trim. Wait, I love that. There we go. I just shifted everything over to make room for our pool. And this is how our house turned out. I did end up adding a different wallpaper. That one there is from the Riviera Retreat Kit. Super adorable. I'm loving this pack so far. All right, so I've gone ahead with my layout. This one's a little weird because you actually enter on the top floor. So we're gonna walk in, have a living room, a bedroom, and a bathroom here. And then down below, we're gonna have kitchen and dining, another bedroom, and another bathroom. So since we didn't get any wood flooring here, I just added a base game one. And for wallpaper for the main room, let me see what we got here. This is the interior version of the exterior one we did, which I feel like they're not really that different. There is a texture going on on there. We got a lot of different pastel colors. And then we've got the funky wallpapers, like this like snakeskin looking one. There's the same kind of thing going on, but with wood added. There's a cow print one, which this one's really cute. Oh, and there's other animal prints included in that wallpaper as well. These are adorable. There's a planty one, which is something I did not expect, but I'll totally be using this. There's a more worn looking wall if you wanted to do like a rundown looking place. We've got some tiles. These would be good for kitchens and bathrooms. Another pool wallpaper. You could probably put this on the interior of a pool. And then we just have like a simple wallpaper, some new colors happening here. My favorite of all time, new wallpaper. And this floral one, which I also can't wait to use this too. The swatches are gorgeous. Let's see what's happening for living room furniture. So we got this. This is very pretty. It's like a side arm chair and we got this lip couch we have to use this i want to use all of the weird extra items that come with this pack obviously we have a matching bubble type chair obsessed with this like art deco style chair here matching that other wallpaper a lot of these chairs are very nice actually this matches that table we used outside there's a poof with little frills some fancy chairs with some metal accents and we got this one here too oh i should have used these outside I'm gonna stick these onto the empty balcony I have here. We also got a new fluffy rug with some really fun colors. A new coffee table here. I don't know why I've chosen to go with this purple and like dark blue sort of color scheme, but let's see where this takes us here. Whoa, the artwork is gorgeous. Look at some of these swatches. This is so pretty. I'm a big fan of this one. We're gonna add this in here. Ooh, also for artwork though, look at this one. This is like a neon picture of a girl with a 
snake. This is some really cool artwork too. Is this a backsplash for a kitchen? This is like tiles you could use behind your counters or in your bathroom. We also have some more simple like gallery art, family photo type things. And then there are lots of flashy wall decals and stuff. Some wild heart decals too. Oh, these are actually really cute. Look at the little cloud and the broken heart, the flame heart. Oh, that's pretty. This art is cute too. I'm so happy we desperately needed new art in The Sims 4. I love these ceiling lights with the frills. We also got this light here, which I feel like you could shrink and put them together. I'm of course gonna be adding a lot of candle decor here. Oh, this heart table, stop it right now. That's adorable. And thank goodness they included a light pink swatch. That is so freaking cute. I've deleted all of my ceiling lights because I just want the moody lighting, tons of different lamps and candles everywhere. Oh, the bookshelf with the heart ends. I'm content. I must say this pack is delivering so far. What is this? A stand-up trunk dresser? Oh, this is a costume trunk. So the Sims 4 Love Struck came with this costume kind of thing, like romantic kind of costumes, if you know what I mean. So you can literally change them through this trunk, I think. We have these beaded curtains that I think you could probably put over top of a door. We also got a few new mirrors. This one here has pictures of a couple in them. Different swatches, obviously, so you get different pictures of sims and then there's also a plain one and we got this bigger one i'm gonna put that in my bathroom for now i don't like how high up on the wall this one is oh and we got this huge one which i feel like you could make a whole wall with over on this side by the door i'm just adding that wall plant i showed you earlier i'm gonna add in one of these ottomans which that looks very comfy i wish that blue was a little more on the green side to match the rest of my like dark green stuff i might add like a big base game bookshelf over in this corner or something just to fill up the space and just because i think it matches the space perfectly i've just added this mirror here behind my ottoman from the modern luxe kit and we'll pull it together too with that rug all right so so far this is our living room i love the moody feel that it's giving off the furniture is just so extra so looking very cute on this side i'm also a big fan of how that entryway turned out all right now let's do a bedroom i'm a little torn on the wallpaper situation because you're gonna see this with the archways from the outside. So I guess we could solve that problem by getting rid of those and just replacing it with another door. Oh, this flooring actually has different swatches. So we have more basic marble style flooring, which comes in some fun colors too. We've got like basic neutral ones. We have a red one and then you could rotate these. So this would actually make a barrier around your flooring if you wanted it to. Like you can take the corner pieces and play around with the edges of the wall. All right, the moment I've been waiting for, the heart bed finally makes a return. Let's look through some of the colors. So we have some basic ones. This is totally giving the OG heart bed, but then we have some different swatches. I like this one. There's animal print ones, of course. Some more pastel ones. No, this is vintage OG heart bed. We're obviously using this one, but let's just look at the others. There's this one, which is more of a rundown looking one. We have a full tiger going on on there. A rainbow version, the heartbreak version, this is called the basic breakup double bed and it says your ex took your sheets your heart and the good plates and then finally we have this one too which is really pretty it has that rose headboard there some super gorgeous swatches going on under here too but we gotta bring her back we're going heart bed all the way oh i guess this mirror is so high so you could put it over top of your bed if you wanted to we did get one other curtain we got this one here maybe i should use that on the bedroom here i'm not the biggest fan of this curtain but i feel like we we should cover the windows. I'm adding a coffee table by the bed. And on there, of course, we're bringing in our candles. We're adding another fluffy rug. This trunk thing is going somewhere. I don't know where yet, but we're definitely adding one. And then I really want to add a fireplace in here. I was thinking of this one from Vintage Glamour. So we use this picture over top of the fireplace. I guess we'll add the weird hippo. Oh, and in here we could use the stool and this weird chair. And then for a suitcase, maybe we should put this over in a corner somewhere. I'm adding in a fancy stand-up mirror from Get Famous and we didn't get any normal dressers I don't think with Lovestruck so I'm just gonna keep this suitcase and I just need a smaller dresser. Maybe I'll use this one here from base game. I won't lie I'm very curious about this gameplay. Based on the items I'm seeing I can only imagine what we would have in store for that but here is my first bedroom. This is clearly the main focus of this pack. Lots of different bedroom items you can add here. I love the aesthetic they ended up going for with this pack though. OK, 
Okay, let's move on from here. We have a bathroom to do next. I'm gonna use this different flooring here. What if we went all black with the bathroom? I already added this mirror, so may as well keep it there. And all we have for new bathroom stuff is this shower. I was expecting like a big one or a big bathtub, jacuzzi kind of thing or something. I do think these could look really interesting in here though, with like different swatches. And then we add in these vertical lines from City Living. We'll bring in our bead curtains. Our sink, I guess we'll keep with the theme and use this one from high school years. And I can just add in a random base game toilet. All right, that shower area actually did end up pretty cute. I will be using those oval plant things a lot. I guess it's a more modern version of like the Discover University shower. On this side, we could add the toiletry set we got. And maybe I'll also just toss in this basket. It can be used for extra towels or something like that. All right, let's go downstairs and let's use that wallpaper that I've been dying to use. We're gonna use the fancy frilly lights. I think I'll go in again with some marble flooring. And this time let's try this bed with one of the different headboards. This one matches perfectly, but I don't know if it's like too perfect, you know? But in this one, we can definitely use the heart end tables. I absolutely love this fluffy rug. We will be using that constantly. But what else do we have for skill items? A party game. Can I add that under there? That's really fun, actually. I'm gonna put that in the corner for now because I'll put it on a table. We also got another guitar. So maybe I'll add that there by the bed. And these neon signs. I wanted to add one of these. If we do that, I'll just try and use a more neutral wallpaper on that side. And would it look crazy if I surrounded this bed with these big trees? Maybe, but I'm gonna try and keep rolling with it. I really wanted to include these chairs somewhere in here. This is where we can add our game. Why do I feel like a jukebox would work in here? Okay, so we'll have our seating area over here and I still have to include a dresser. So I added that one from high school years and I feel like here we could maybe use this mirror wall. <laughs> All right, so this is how our second bedroom turned out. I ended up separating that wallpaper there with columns. I thought it looked a little cleaner that way. And then over to this side, I added more of those hanging plants. Most of this stuff in here is the new pack and base game other than I think just the dresser here and obviously the Blooming Rooms kit plant. But loving this one, loving the color scheme in here. Oh, and look at these little star lights. I almost forgot about these. They just add the tiniest little speck of light. I kind of thought they would move around in live mode, but they they're just standard wall decals and they just add a little sparkle to your build. Let's move out and do the kitchen and dining, which I'm not sure, but I don't think we got any kitchen stuff at all. Again, not really surprising. Yeah, no oven, no sink, no counters, no nothing like that. So I don't think I'm gonna focus too much on this room since we didn't really get any new stuff for it. So maybe what we'll do back here instead is just make a gym. This can be a home gym. It leads right to the outside and there's a bathroom attached. It wouldn't have been my first choice of placement here, but since there is a lot of gym stuff included, we may as well just add it in. Like there are a lot of different gym posters here and I like that they're fun colors too. Some of the artwork is wild. There are some pop culture posters we could put in here. I guess also a big thing with this pack is bars and I'm noticing a lot of things like food signs and stuff. So yeah, that's definitely to make like a lounge or a commercial lot. All right, so just been playing around a little bit. This room is kind of random, but this is what our gym turned out like. I use mirrors here from spa day. This neon light here is new from Love Struck, And then we've got our two machines over here as well. For this bathroom, I wanted to try out the new wallpaper we got. So that is from Love Struck, but I feel like that and the mirror are the only Love Struck things in here. I tied together our bottom floor dining room in the same aesthetic that we did the living room upstairs. I also found that the Sims 4 Paranormal seems to be a good pack that goes with this decor. These statues are also new Love Struck items. A lot of axolotl imagery. Here is our kitchen. I tried using that new backsplash from the new pack and I didn't notice but we also got some cute kitchen clutter here too. Like this is a food warmer and we've got these clay pots. I added a VIP bucket in the corner and the final item I feel like I cannot finish this video without showing you is this little penguin plushie with the heart on his belly. So adorable. Here he is cosplaying as a chicken but that has been us building with the new Sims 4 Love Struck expansion pack. So far I'm a huge fan of the build and buy. I love the route they went with it. I love that we've got a mixture of like the silly items with a really beautiful retro hint to it. I feel like this is going to be a pretty well received pack so let me know what you guys are thinking if you're planning on getting it and if you are planning on getting the Sims 4 Love Struck expansion pack you can consider supporting my channel by using code SIDMAC at checkout. If you guys like the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.